What's up everyone? Sadi Kaab. Uh, today we're talking about getting angry. <laughs> so protesting decisions. I can honestly say in all my years I've probably got pissed off once up there uh, when we've received a decision and it was weird actually won it but I totally believe we shouldn't have. It was actually quite ridiculous that we that anyone could see that we'd won that one. Um, it is what it is. We move on, take take it and, and keep going with it. Um, sometimes it's the other way but having control emotionally. Um, Saturday night while cornering for my fighter got to the end of the fight I believe we'd won and I honestly believe we'd won at the time, and I don't very, very often believe that. I don't honestly believe that we've won very often. I generally have to ask my guys because I watch it as a cynic. I watch it that we're not doing enough ever, so it makes me my guys makes me want to get my guys to do more. I'm always looking for the negative, I guess. Uh, it's just how I corner. Always have. Um, got to the end of the fight. I believe we've done enough to win. It went majority decision to the other guy. Um, yeah, people could tell that I was a bit surprised with it. I wasn't angry, I wasn't pissed off, I didn't put on a show. Um, but then I rewatched the fight yesterday and I can see that we lost. I can clearly see that we lost. Amazing performance from my boy um, on, an, on a short notice fight against an experienced guy. Um, but we clearly lost the fight. And it's important to keep control of yourself in the corner because when, if it is a ripoff, me getting angry and upsetting my fighter and making and fueling his fire and you know he he's going to be emotional anyway because he just had the adrenaline rush and he's high as a kite at the time on on adrenaline. If you then get angry in the corner and start yelling and carrying on, it doesn't it doesn't end well. It doesn't look good doesn't look professional and also at the same time your fighter is going to get more upset with the decision. At the end of the day if a, if a fight's going to points you're leaving it in someone else's hands. I try and teach my guys to, to try and win by knockout um, with solid single shots not trying to go the work rate game but it doesn't work, doesn't always work, not everyone has that natural power to be able to knock people out or you know the accuracy or whatever it happens to be so it goes to points 90% of the time not many people win, win by knockout all the time so you need to have control in the corner you need to be professional you need to be you need to understand that those people ringside doing the judging no matter how, you know some of them do a shit job and no matter how shit a job they do at it you're still leaving it up to someone else so You've got to be in control. If you've got your, if you've got your problem, then tell them to their face, like later on, like tell after the show's over or whatever. You don't crack the shits. Don't put on a show in front of everyone. You don't abuse the judges. You don't. It, it doesn't look good. It never looks good. But you know, we all we're all human. We all are very emotionally invested in these fights as a general rule. And I understand how it can it can escalate. But owning it is the thing. You know, like if you fuck up, you own it. And also, if you lose, you got to own it. If if you believe you've won, it, sometimes it's a sad fact. We don't see it how they see it, or whatever. But really important, guys, you've got to be in control emotionally for the sake of your fighter and your team. It's number one, number one most important bit, yeah? Short, sharp, and shiny, straight to the point, back to the respect thing. You've got to be respectful. You've got to be professional in there. Hope everyone understands that. Hope everyone appreciates that. And let's keep growing. Thanks a lot, guys. Um, peace.